research, we're building molecular computers where small strands of DNA come together and interact in order to execute computations. Our recent work published in Nature is about designing a multi-purpose molecular computer that's capable of running many different molecular programs. Our molecular computer works by self-assembly. So small strands of DNA stick together in order to grow a larger object. And as each strand attaches, it executes a small part of the computation, a little logic gate, like an AND gate or an OR gate. And so just like you have electricity flowing through a circuit to execute a computation, here in our system, the attaching of DNA strands to make a larger and larger object execute the computation. In order to have a multi-purpose, reprogrammable molecular computer, we came up with a theoretical model and then we designed a set of 355 DNA strands that can implement any 6-bit program within that model. So just like your phone or your laptop can run a variety of different programs, our DNA strands can be used to run any program with 6-bit input in that model. And to showcase this, we uh, developed a total of 21 different programs in the end. Some example computations we ran include sorting bits take a six-bit input, put all the zeros on the left and all the ones on the right, or deciding if there's an odd number of ones in the input, or deciding if the input is a palindrome. These experiments were done when I was at Caltech uh, with my collaborators Eric Winfrey and Dave Doty. Uh, because our system was reprogrammable, we could come up with a program in the morning, design it on the whiteboard, and then later that same day, pull out the relevant DNA strands from the fridge and do the experiment. Our work makes use of both computer science theory and wet lab experimental implementation, and this makes us somewhat unique. I think for this kind of interdisciplinary research, it's important to be able to do both of these things in-house in the same group. And going forward from here, we're fortunate to have been funded by the ERC, Science Foundation Ireland, and Maynooth University, so that going forward, we've plenty of support for this kind of interdisciplinary theoretical and experimental work. Mm -hmm.